So people, it has been such a pleasure to have you in Denmark and to train us in, uh, in AI. Can you please uh, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and uh, how this course uh, came about? Thank you. Um, I've been in the field of testing for quite long and used to run a testing services company. I'm also in the certification part of uh, things in testing. And when AI started becoming popular, I started investigating purely from my interest point of view to see how does it impact things and can I use AI in testing or if I were to test AI applications, how I would really test them. And I found that not really much is happening in the testing field. A lot of uh, commercial research in AI in testing is happening on the automation tools. Mm. But from point of view of uh, techniques and uh, uh, methods to do testing and so on, didn't really see much happening. And so since there is not much guidance available, I thought here's an opportunity to do some research in this area. And I'm very interested in the theory of things, how things really happen, how one can think about it, what techniques can be used, what new techniques can be developed and so on. So it was uh, you know, this thought process that led me to collect the knowledge about AI and testing uh, together in a structured fashion. And that uh, eventually led to the creation of AI reports. Do you find that um, that that testers um, uh, normally find it easy to um, to to jump into uh, AI testing? We are actually very intimidated uh, by AI and uh, machine learning. One because of terminology. Um, there's a lot of terminology, a lot of new um, things to be learned. Then the whole direction, because most of the teaching that's going on is going on in the direction of uh, how to do AI, how mm. to essentially create machine learning uh, applications, how to create machine learning models and so on. So people start focusing on the uh, algorithms and how to do things. However, testing is not about how AI models really get created or you know what are the algorithms, but are they doing what they're supposed to be doing? Are they solving the business problem that they're solving? I'm not saying that technology is not required. In fact, the more you know about the technology, more nuanced your test cases can be. So testing is testing, and you can always test AI systems as pure black box systems, and that is a good starting point because you are not afraid. You understand AI systems are not really different from a business perspective because they are trying to solve a problem. But then you start gaining more knowledge about what AI and machine learning it, they are, you know, how they are being used and so on. And after that, you, you know, this knowledge helps you understand things. But if you go through uh, certification like AIU, what happens is um, uh, you, are, you are made aware of techniques which are specific to AI testing. Things like metamorphic testing, things like uh, re uh, related to bias in the data, things like uh, not, um, you know, non-availability of Oracle, or uh, things like the result is no longer you know, a pass or a fail, it's a probabilistic measure. So when you start grappling with these things, uh, you know, the certification kind of takes you through uh, all of these answers in a very gradual manner, and then it helps testers understand things. Certainly. Do you think in, um, in, in five years from now, do you think it would be possible to actually work as a tester without knowledge in, the, in AI? Um, you know, five years is probably too short a time for uh, AI to permeate everything. Uh, there are a lot of traditional systems. For example, a lot of mainframes are still going on. Uh, so, you know, they, you still need people who program in COBOL and, you know, test mainframe systems. So, all traditional systems are not really going to vanish and AI is not going to solve all problems. But from a trend perspective, sooner or later this is going to happen that almost everybody would need to understand AI and uh, what are the pitfalls there, what are the risks and how to test AI systems. Or if uh, not that, then at least how to use AI in testing. So how can I use AI to shorten my test cycles, maybe help yes. choose regression test cases, uh, or maybe help understand coverage and predict defects and so on. Well, I'm certainly very, um, very fond of my uh, newly acquired uh, certificate. It means that I'm able to, to pick and choose uh, whichever uh, task I want to, uh, to take next as a tester. So I'm really satisfied that I, 
Thank you so the, much. The I'm very happy. Your course. I'm very happy that uh, you you uh, you know found the course useful, and I also hope that uh, you know your newly newly acquired skills you would start applying on projects and also start looking at open source projects and other you know whatever is available and hone your skills on those as well. Best wishes to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.